At the end of the tax year, you need to create a P35 file and upload it to Revenue Online Services, or ROS. Your P35 includes the total tax, USC and PRSI for each employee and your company's liabilities. Before you generate your P35 file, you must process the remaining pay periods in 2018 and check your payroll information is correct. You should also check that your payroll status is at end of period. If you have more than one payroll with the same tax registration number, you should merge these payrolls into a consolidated company. You can then log into this consolidation company and generate a single P35 file that covers all of the consolidated payrolls. In this video demo, we're going to show you how to create a P35 file in a single payroll. From the menu bar, select Year End, then Tax, then Tax Year End Reports. Under P35 Returns, select Via Ross, then click Create. Click Continue when prompted. Select the type of P35 return you want to submit to Revenue. In this example, I'm going to be creating an original P35 return, as I haven't already submitted one for this tax year yet. Click Proceed. If you want to enter pension contributions you didn't enter in Sage Payroll, you can use the adjustment fields to do so now. When you're ready to move on to the next stage, click Proceed. You'll now be able to browse to where you want to save the P35 file. And once you've specified the relevant location, click Save. The P35 ROS complete window now appears. To check your P35 values, you should print off the monitor report and compare it against your control summary. The year to date value should be identical on both reports. Once you're happy with the values, select the open folder containing P35 ROS file, then click Done. You've now successfully produced the P35 return file, and when you're ready to, you can submit this file to Revenue via their website.